Hello, and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Gianna Tillery. And I'm Katrina Walcott. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. On Saturday at Great Mills High School, new plants were placed around the campus of the school in celebration of the school's Hornet Culture Day. The Crossroads of Hughesville Garden Club donated plants, including milkweed, which attracts monarch butterflies for a butterfly garden. Community members, school employees, and students, especially those in the AP environmental class, participated in the planting by digging through soil and stuffing plants into the ground. Upon approval of grants funding, the St. Mary's Public Works Department is due to take a harder look at flooding and shoreline issues in Golden Beach, Myrtle Point Park, and on St. George's Island. Through the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, the Grants Gateway, the Natural County will request $50,000 to study drainage problems at Golden Beach, $90,000 to design shoreline erosion corrective measures at Myrtle Point Park, and $30,000 to mitigate shoreline erosion along Piney Point Road. On Tuesday, the St. Mary's County Commissioners were briefed on public school bus driver pay during a meeting, which prompted discussion over pay parity and other issues, which was the result of a protest by a small number of drivers last week. The commissioners have already voted to support a 3% raise for all school staff and a 2% cost of living adjustment for bus drivers employed directly with the school. The St. Mary's School Board operates a school bus transportation system primarily by contracting with 42 local school bus contractors. The contracted bus drivers currently make around $16.75 an hour and want it to be raised to $20 an hour, as well as better benefits. The Leonardtown High School football team is looking to turn the page with the hiring of new head coach Justin Cunningham. The school announced Cunningham's hiring in a press release on April 24th. Cunningham has been an assistant coach at DeMatha High School in Hyattsville for the past nine years. He played football at Calvert High School where he was a team captain and a three-year varsity letter winner. I want to build a program from the ground up, said Cunningham. I'm going to talk about doing the right thing a lot. The wins will come off of that. Everyone that dives in and sees what's going on, it will provide positive energy. There are some good athletes and we will make playing football cool and be competitive again. 